Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Elise here of Plan With Elise and today I'm so excited to be sharing with you Fall Florals Volume 2 by Kel of a Plan. Fall Florals Volume 1 from last year was such a huge hit that Heather made a Volume 2. So I believe the sticker book releases on Friday, August 5th at 10 a.m. Central over at kelloflan.com. I will confirm that in the description of this video um, in case it changes or I was incorrect, but I do have an affiliate link in the description if you are shopping. So Fall Florals, Volume 2. I'm excited. All right, we're going to flip through it today and I'm going to do a plan with me in this at the end of this video as well so you can see how to use these stickers. I love this first set of colors with the burgundy and the sunflowers. So you're gonna get the larger boxes, the square ones, the quarters, and all of these bullets. I love to cut these bullets in half so that they're a little bit smaller in my planner. Look how pretty. I know it's not fall yet, it's August, but it's August. Many of your kids might be going back to school and we're gonna be nearing fall. So this is great to have in your stash for when fall actually does hit. This is so pretty. I feel like this is a good transition from summer to fall. Like the yellows are so pretty. Look at these corner stickers. Gorgeous. I love the big ones too. And that they're cut on the side. Oh, and there's three pages of this one. Up next, we have pastel with pumpkins. It's really pretty. And this is like glittery, but not glittery. It's like the glitter pattern, sort of. And this is kind of a gold box around this like mint green border. And these have a little bit of glitter accents in the pumpkins. So the colors are good for transition from summer to fall. But of course there are pumpkins here. This is a really cool one. These are so pretty. All right, now we have some really nice neutral ones. I love these roses. This is a pretty, a pretty set. I'm just gonna keep saying it's pretty. We have pumpkins and florals. I like this half like where the flowers are over half the box here. Look how gorgeous. I love how neutral this is. I'm not gonna use this one today because I can't wait to use this in my actual planner, Oops. but this might be my favorite set so far. And then we have this blue and burgundy. So how is this different? Oh, the first one were more yellow and those had sunflowers. But I really like the tones in this sticker book. They're just a little bit more muted so far. These are pretty. And I love how Heather does the corner cuts because it makes it so much easier just to put your spread together. Then we have some nice orange and green, but again, say it with me, more muted. <laughs> Pumpkins, like kind of watercolor type florals, really light. And not everything for fall has to be dark colors. I love this cluster of pumpkins down here. And again, three pages of that. So this is really pretty. Okay, let's plan with it. All right, so I have some September pages over here. And I think that I'm going to use this first set. It's so pretty, which makes me want to like use it in my regular planner. But I mean, I could use these planner pages if I wanted to, but I also feel like there's so many stickers in this book that I could make more than one spread with each type, which I've done before. So I'm gonna put this down right here on the corner and then we'll cover up this white line, or this line using white, using my Uniball Signal. And then this line a little bit too, because these are clear stickers. So I just don't want to see the lines peeking through. And again, right over here. Okay, look how pretty that is already. Do we just go ahead and go for the bottom too and like corner off the whole one? I feel like maybe I should. Uh, I don't want to do it yet. I can always do it after, right? Okay. Now, um, let's bring in a box. Oops. I'm just going to move this box over to the left. Just a touch. And then I'm going to do my usual trick. Let me grab my ruler. 
which like I mentioned is cutting these bullets in half to the best of my ability <laughs> so that they take up a little bit less space in my planner and I have double the amount of bullets to use. So it's really easy to do just with a knife or of course you could use your scissors too. Get this back on and then let's see which ones. Let's use the burgundy ones. I may not have pressed hard enough with that knife. There we go. This is just such a simple but clean spread. You could also include Heather's Rainbow Quote sticker book or um, one of the seasonal ones that might have quotes if you'd like to include quote ones into your spread too. Or not quote ones, if you'd like to include quotes. Okay. Now I moved this box over to the left a little bit so that I could put bullets cleanly over here. So let's use these yellow ones. This is usually what happens. Half of it, oh my goodness, come on. <laughs> the two halves are not actual halves. They're a little bit different in size, but you can make it work, right? Looks like I got a little bit of dirt on the page. So let's talk about fall, things I'm looking forward to in fall. Uh, I'm not ready, I'm, <laughs> I'm not ready for fall. It's still, I'm still in summer mode. I just wanna look for something. Okay, I'm going to take a sidebar sticker. Let's put that down to kind of help set some of the colors that we wanna use here. Um, there is a food and wine festival in my area that I go to every year as long as we're not in a pandemic. So I'm looking forward to that. And then I wanna bring yellow in, but I also wanna bring in the burgundy. Hmm. You know what, we'll do green. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, I will be traveling in November to the Sugary Gal Planner Conference in Orlando. That's the first weekend in November. And I'm going to be teaching a budgeting workshop. So I'm really excited for that. And then I'm gonna move this over just a bit. Um, my mom's birthday is in the fall and yeah, I'm not quite ready to let go of summer yet. I feel like I lost a little bit of summer because I had COVID and I was sick for two weeks. So, but the rest of it, I'm trying to make the most of and enjoy as much of it as I can. I'm moving that box over a touch so that when I put bullets here, they're not gonna be against that line. So let's bring in maybe the blue bullets over here. And there's no more back to, I mean, my niece and nephew are going back to school. My mom's not going back to school now that she is retired, but she will be coming with me to Florida, which I'm so excited about. So if you will be there, you will get to meet my mom. And she'll kind of get to see a little bit more of what this planning world is all about. I feel like she saw a decent amount of it because I lived with her for a few months in 2020. And so she did get to see like my process and how things grew for me over that period of time and stuff like that. But this is, this will be a little bit different because it's going to be in person. Let's layer these right here. I feel like that's fun. Okay, now moving over to the right side of the page. I feel like there's a nice big chunk of empty space right there. So I think that I wanna lift up this box a little. We are reaching the point in summer where filming <laughs> is so challenging because it's so hot in my office and I can't quite put on my air conditioner while I'm doing a video, but it's okay. I'm happy to have the direct sunlight because in my old apartment, my office was my dining room and there was no window and it just faced the wall. So I had got to stare at the wall all day. So I'd rather deal with a little bit of heat than staring at a wall all day. Okay, there we go. That's pretty. This dirty speck is bothering me a little bit. If we can kind of just cover that up. I know this works. I just used it. There we go. 
Okay, we're just gonna have a random white white splotch in the middle. I do think I wanna do the same thing down here though where I bring in the big corner, but there's also like double boxes that you could use. So I know I'll need to cover up these two, but I can't quite figure out when it's upside down what else. I might need to go over a little bit too. Just trying to find where this is cut. We'll get there. I don't think stickers like the heat. I think that's what I've discovered this summer because I've never had as much trouble <laughs> pulling stickers up as I have this summer. I'll get this down and then just cover right here. And keep going back through with boxes and bullets, another tiny little bit, cover it up here. Okay, it's pretty kind of with the corners like that. So going back, um, we can put some bullets up at the top because I didn't use any of those yet. So let's do burgundy bullets. And half because I don't think I pressed hard enough when I was cutting. We'll put these here. I am excited for all the fall spreads. I do love decorating for fall. I feel like I like decorating for every season except for winter um, and spring. Okay, that's a lie. So I like decorating for fall and I love decorating for summer. Winter, I don't love decorating for. So hear me out. I love making Christmas spreads. I think it's really fun and I do them every year and I always will. However, I don't celebrate Christmas. I celebrate it like with my brother and his wife and kids because they celebrate Christmas, but I'm Jewish. And so I feel like I don't want to do Christmas spreads all December long. Um, and then in January, it's winter, but there's not a ton of winter stickers to choose from usually. So I feel like I kind of get in a rut when it comes to seasonal planning in the winter. Spring, I love spring florals. Heather's spring floral sticker book is one of my favorites and I love the Live Love Posh Hello Spring sticker book. But I feel like once spring hits after the first couple of weeks, I'm so antsy for summer that that's what my focus is on entirely. But summer, I love decorating for it because it's summer and my birthday and my niece and nephew's birthday and my best friend. And then, um, and then fall as well. So I wanna bring in this box over here. I like, oops, I wanted to move over this green one. So you can peel these up pretty easily if they're not down for a long time. I wouldn't recommend like doing this and then waiting a couple hours or weeks. But as you could see, that was down for a few seconds and I was still able to peel it up and reposition it. Okay, now let's get that burgundy one that I put over here on the side. And I think I'm just going to layer these two a little bit like this. And then go back to bullets. That's crooked. We're going to leave it. And let's bring in some blue bullets. And see how when you cut these in half, they really just give you more space to write than if they were fully on the page. Just one of the simple things that make a difference. Sometimes with decorative planning, it's just the little things that you might not have thought of. that one. Okay, and then I need some, oh, I never used green bullets. That's okay. We'll use them on Sunday. Did I even cut them? I did. And then I think I'm probably going to need a yellow box, but maybe we'll do a little bit of layering. So I have room for three over here on Sunday. And even though I don't know what my plans are for the week of September 19th yet, a spread like this can be used at any time um, because each day has a box and a bullet. And I feel like I repeat myself when I talk about this all the time, but that's what I need for I want the blue one. 
blue. That's what I need to make my spreads functional. Whether I put in um, a dentist appointment or a soccer game that my nephew has or uh, whatever book I'm reading. And if I don't necessarily have something to write, maybe I'll write what TV show I watched or what the weather was or something like that. There's a ton of open space over here. Um, I could fill it in with some more, like I could bring one of these in. But I also do want to save some of these stickers and I don't necessarily feel the need to fill in every piece of the spread. But in case you wanted me to, there we go. And let's take just one more. Let's get this piece. I'm gonna try to use my tweezers for this because I'm gonna break a nail and then I won't be happy because I don't have time this week to get a manicure. <laughs> my week is planned out and a manicure is not on the list. I think just kind of layering those a little bit. Let's cover up that line. Okay, so as a reminder, the sticker book releases on Friday, August 5th, 10 a.m. Central. My affiliate link is in the description of this video. If you are shopping, I would appreciate you using my link. It doesn't cost you anything extra. Let's grab one more box for down here. I like this decorative one right there. I don't have, we're just gonna cover this up. That's crooked though, so that was a little sloppy. I know I can do better. Okay. That. All right. This is really pretty. I'm excited. I love it. I hope you do too. Um, link to the description. Thanks so much for watching. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, please do take a moment, pen fell, to like this video and subscribe and I'll see you next time.